Hey Karan, can you hear me okay? Hey, hi Roger. Uh, yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Perfect. Thanks for joining on time. Shall we get started? All right. So, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, I am Karan. Uh, I completed my B.Tech Computer Science from BIT Velo. Uh, I have always been uh, inclined towards tech. So, uh, but during college, I discovered a real interest in working with data. So, so I started learning Excel, SQL, and some basic Python on my own, and did a few small academic projects around that. Um, now I am looking to kickstart my career in data analytics and growth from there. Yeah. Nice. What got you interested in data analytics specifically? Uh, I, I think it started during a, a college project where we had to analyze survey data. So it was simple, but uh, I really enjoyed finding uh, patterns and converting uh, raw data into something useful. So after that, I started uh, learning uh, tools like Excel, Pandas, uh, SQL, just exploring uh, uh, really. And I found myself enjoying the process more than any other subject. All right. So let's jump into SQL. So can you tell me the different types of joins you are familiar with? Yeah, the main ones are uh, inner join, left join, right join, and uh, full outer join. So uh, inner join gives only matching reports from both tables. And uh, le left join gives all reports from the left table and matches from the right. And right join uh, is the opposite of that. And uh, full outer join gives everything from both tables with null values, uh, with nulls where uh, there is no match. Yeah. Great. So uh, suppose you need to find the second highest salary from an employee table. So how would you do that? So uh, one way would be uh, using a subquery. So we can write a query like a, a select statement, and then we can use max uh, function and uh, max, and then salary column uh, from employee. Let's uh, let's suppose uh, employee table. So then we use where clause uh, salary is less than. Then we use subquery. Then again, um, select statement uh, and select max uh, salary from employees. Yeah. So we can use the subquery. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's the difference between where and having clause? Okay, so uh, where filter rules before grouping and uh, having filters after group by has been applied. So if I want to filter individual rows, uh, then I use where. Uh, if I want to filter aggregated data, then I use having. Yeah. Mm, good. Uh, what if there are duplicate rows in your table and you want only unique values? Yeah, uh, I would use select distinct uh, to fetch unique rows. Cool. So let's talk about Excel. What kind of functions or formulas have you worked with? Yeah, I have worked with the uh, VLOOKUP, uh, HLOOKUP, and uh, if statements, uh, and count if, sum if, and nested if. Also, and I've also used uh, pivot tables, slicers, and conditional formatting to build dashboards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you are combining data from two tables, okay, in Excel. So, how would you do that? Yeah, I would go for VLOOKUP or uh, XLOOKUP uh, depending on the Excel version. So if I need more flexibility, then index match, uh, I think, works uh, better. OK. And what would you do if your Excel sheet has missing values? So uh, for, uh, first, I would try to understand why those values are missing. Uh, if they are not critical, then I might just remove them. Uh, otherwise, I could fill them using averages or defaults. Or 
use filters and formulas to manage them better. Um, yeah. All right. So suppose I hand you a data set full of messy entries, uh, some missing data, some wrongly typed numbers, and no proper headers. What would you do first? So first thing, I would clean the headers and make sure every column has a clear name. Uh, then I would go through each column, uh, fix the data uh, types, uh, remove invalid or duplicate rows, and uh, deal with missing values. Uh, either by filling or or uh, dropping them depending on how much data is missing yeah okay so another question uh, let's see your manager ask for a quick report showing a monthly sales trend from a file that is 12 different sheets one for each month what would you do uh, uh, so uh, I would uh, consolidate all sheets into one using uh, uh, Power Query or manually copying them into a master sheet. Then I would use pivot table to summarize the monthly sales and uh, maybe add slicers or charts to make it interactive. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so what are your current learning goals? Uh, anything you are working on current? Yeah, right now I am brushing up on Python, uh, especially Pandas and uh, Matplot library. And I've also started learning Power BI too for dashboards. Uh, my short term goal is to get really comfortable with end to end data analysis. So eventually move towards more uh, uh, advanced analytics and uh, maybe machine learning in the future. All right. Uh, so, Karan, any certifications you are planning? Yeah. So, I am planning to do the Google Data Analytics certification soon. Also, checking out the Microsoft uh, Power BI certification PM300. Okay. Sounds like you are on the right track, Karan. Uh, I like your clarity and enthusiasm. Uh, just one last thing. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, just curious, uh, Roger, uh, if I get selected, will there be any structured training before jumping into Excel work? Absolutely. We have an onboarding program that covers uh, tools, processes, and domain basics. So you will get time to ramp up before working on live projects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Roger. You're welcome. Thanks for your time, and we will be in touch soon. Yeah, great speaking with you. Have a good day.